Hello, hello, hello. I am the Linux Match. It's good practice to have two kernels installed. So if there's a problem with one kernel, you can boot into the other kernel without having to plug in a thumb drive to do a repair. And in Arch Linux, it's easy to have more than one kernel installed. Now, I have two kernels installed. I have the long-term support kernel and I have the stable kernel. And by default, when I reboot, it automatically goes into the long-term support kernel. And I don't want it to. <laughs> now, when I'm booting into my system, if I hit the keyboard at the right moment, I can go into advanced settings and pick the stable kernel. But I always forget. And it automatically boots into the long-term support kernel, and then I have to reboot it again. And it's kind of a hassle. So today, I'm going to show you how to set the default for the kernel you want to boot into when you have more than one kernel installed. And I'm showing you this in Grub. Okay? So, let's get to it. So today, I'm going to show you this in a virtual machine. I'm in a virtual machine of Arch Linux with the awesome window manager. And let's reboot. So I'm just going to use my mouse. I'm going to open the terminal. Let's open next term. Okay? And let's just do a Neo fetch. I'm in Arch Linux. I'm running the long-term support kernel. I'm in the awesome window manager and I'm in X term. And uh, right now I'm using 462 megabytes of RAM. And if we just do uh, HTOP, not that we have to do an HTOP, but this virtual machine has four processors, four gigs of RAM, no swap, and it's running at 451 megabytes of RAM. Let's just do a reboot. I'm going to be rebooting uh, my virtual machine a lot of times in this uh, video. But this virtual machine is not encrypted, so it doesn't take long to boot. So you can see right here, and I'm not booting on to a login manager or display manager. I'm just booting into the TTY. So you can see right here, it automatically booted up the LTS kernel. So I'm going to put my name in and my password in. Now I'm going to reboot again. I don't even need to go into the awesome window manager. I can just work from the TTY. So if I hit my mouse really fast, Then I can go into advanced options and you see I have the long-term support kernel at the top and the stable kernel down here. And I can log into the stable kernel this way. It's going to take a second to boot up. I'm going to go into root. It's going to log into root. I'm going to work in the TTY today. And I'm going to put root's password in. And you don't have to be in root. You can do this in your user. But if you're doing this in your user, you're going to have to use sudo. So don't forget that. Okay. So now I'm going to clear the screen. And when I clear the screen, I do Control L, clears the screen. And I'm going to CD into Etsy. And I'm going to clear the screen. Now there's another way you can clear the screen. You can type in CLS. Well, you can type in clear. You can type in CLS. Or you can just do Control L, which is the easiest way to clear the screen. And I'm going to, so now that I'm in Etsy, I'm going to CD into default. So now I'm in Etsy default, and I'm going to clear the screen. Control L clears the screen. And I'm going to Vim into Grub. Now remember, if you're in your user, you're going to have to do sudo Vim Grub. But I'm in root, so <laughs> now I'm going to go to the top. So this is the top. Number Line number four is the timer. So when you're using Grub by default, and it's booting into the system, you have five seconds from stopping it, from booting into the system. If you want to go into advanced settings and choose which kernel you want to go into. Now you can change that five to a 10 or a 15 or a 20. Then you have, you know, more time when it's booting into the system to hit the keyboard to stop it from booting into the system. So you can get into advanced options and then choose your kernel. So you can do that. Or you can change the default kernel that it's going to boot into. When you're, when you're doing this, it's going to remember the last kernel you were in. If you have two, three, or even four kernels installed, what you want to do is boot into the kernel that you want to be the default kernel. So you want to be running your system, booted up into the system, and running the system on the particular kernel that you want to be the default kernel, because it's going to remember the last kernel 
So right now we're in the stable kernel. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and make the changes. I'm going to go to the bottom and I'm going to go to line 54. I'm going to delete the hashtag or the number sign. I'm going to activate line 54 like that. I'm going to go to the top and on line three, I'm going to go to the end. I'm going to delete the zero and I'm going to type in saved. And now I'm going to save the file. Now I'm going to clear the screen, control L. I'm going to CD out of there, control L. But before you do anything else, you have to make grub. I have an alias in my zesh file to make grub. And if you're using my zesh file, you're just going to type in MK grub. And now you reboot. Now, if you're not using my zesh configuration file, then you're going to have to type in this command. So now let's reboot. So now when we reboot, it's automatically going to go into the stable kernel. And there you are. See? It's in 6.12.8. That's the stable kernel. Let's just log in as Mensch. And just, just let's change the seconds too. So let's go into Etsy. Default. Now that I'm in Mensch, I have to use sudo. So let's do sudo vim grub. And because I'm in Mensch, it's asking for my password because uh, I did sudo. So let's put Mensch's password in. And now let's just change this timeout seconds to 10. I just figured I may as well show you this too. Okay. Let's save the file. Let's clear the screen as control L. And let's just CD out of there. And like I said, every time you make a change in your grub, you got to remake it. So I'm going to do, because I have that alias already in there, MK, like I already said, this command only works if you're using my Vim configuration file. If you've downloaded it and installed it from my GitLab repository. Let's make grub. And let's reboot. So now you're going to see a 10 second delay. See on the bottom right hand side of the screen, it's counting down from 10 seconds. That gives you time to go into advanced settings, to stop it and go into advanced settings and load up the kernel that you want. And there's been times when I've had three or four kernels installed. So you could do that. There we are. And let's just do an H top and we're running at 104, ooh, 137 megabytes of RAM. But remember, I'm in the TTY. <laughs> I haven't logged into the awesome window manager yet or any other desktop or anything. Look at that. It's running at 128 megabytes of RAM. Let's quit out of there and let's do start X and log into the awesome window manager and see what we're running at. You can see here it's cloudy and it's minus two. And this is the awesome window manager. Let's just call up HTOP and we're running at 344 megabytes of RAM. And that's it. In this video, I showed you how to change Grub so it automatically boots into the kernel you want it to boot into when you have more than one kernel. And I also showed you how to change the timer so that you have more time before it boots into the system to stop it in order to get into advanced settings. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It really helps it out. Thank you for watching. Until next time, I am the Linux Mensch.